so you're struggling to keep up in online races you're getting killed by corner bombers no thanks bro we're getting rammed by those people who just don't know what braking is or even that their car has brakes. Let's go over some cornering techniques that people are using to dominate online PvP by getting out ahead and staying ahead. So there are three big ways to take corners, tripping, micro drifting, and full-blown drifting some turns. All three, when applied in the right corner, can be extremely effective. Let's start with regular cornering or gripping a turn. In most cases, gripping a turn is ideal. For example, if you take a long sweeping turn, losing track action or breaking your tires loose will slow you down forcing you to let off acceleration to regain grip now this would apply to a longer corner where no braking or letting off the gas is needed to complete the turn but not always will gripping a turn involve full use of your car's throttle some turns you will need to brake and downshift before accelerating at the right spot now what is the right spot to start applying throttle during your turn we will get to that but first we need to understand what the apex of a turn is and how we should enter and exit that corner okay Okay, so here's a simple drawing of a right hand turn if we start from the bottom we could see the car is barreling down the straight full speed ahead right going we're going great then there's a slight moment of letting off the throttle followed by heavy braking and downshifting the timing on this is very important you want to get your car at the right speed for the corner before you start to turn in once you begin to turn in you want to aim for the innermost part of the corner or the apex or center point if you guys want to call it that and begin to apply throttle as you pass through the apex you don't want to go heavy on it right off the bat but you just want to ease into a little bit of throttle it's key to make sure you don't throttle too soon or you can spin your car out or suffer from bad oversteer or understeer but now to finish off the turn you want to stay as far wide as you can coming out and lay down heavy throttle completing your turn so how could losing a little bit of traction help us gain more speed well it's simple just hit the like button on the video that was so corny. I'm gonna apologize for that. Gripping a corner is by far the safest way to keep speed in a race. But what about micro drifting? Well, micro drifting is not anything new in the world of racing games. Take Need for Speed Heat, for example. The slight loss of traction helps rotate your car into the turn a little bit more helping you line up the apex and keep your car at full speed. This can also be applied in grid. Let's take a look back at Shanghai on the very first turn. We have a lot of speed coming out of the loop. Now we could grip the turn, but it would slow us down just a little too much. Instead, let's micro drift the turn. First, we start the lineup of the turn just like we covered in the apex overview. As we begin to start the turn, we let off the throttle just for a quick second and hold the stick to the left as hard as we can. If you watch closely, the back half of the car will rotate out just a little bit and we're back on the throttle to full speed completing the turn at a faster rate than gripping now almost every car in the game can do this but it can be much harder with front wheel drive cars and some of the older classic cars that just lose grip way too easily micro drifting some turns is also very helpful with linking up other turns back to back the entire first straight at shanghai can be linked up with micro drift to keep maximum speed throughout the whole entire first section now before we get into the broken drifting mechanic of tight turns i'd like to say a thank you to all the new subscribers we've gotten over the last few weeks it means a lot to me we're on the road to 100 subscribers so if you've learned something new or found anything helpful please subscribe hit the like button and uh yeah it helps the channel out big time with that said let's go drift in some turns all right so drifting turns i've seen a lot of people doing this incorrectly or just using it in the wrong turns in general drifting some tight turns can definitely be faster than gripping and micro drifting provided you have the room to do so i'm talking to you people who come sliding in and just bombing everybody in the multiplayer races shame shame but drifting is also a bit risky since drifting and grid can be very inconsistent and to note not only all cars not all cars can drift effectively this is mainly used in powerful all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive cars so let's break down the tight right-hander on shanghai before the tunnel and how you can effectively drift through it much faster than gripping and micro drifting so you start by going far left and pulling the brakes in completely holding the joystick hard right letting the car slide almost completely backwards at the same time you will need to downshift to first as fast as possible getting the timing down for this is key once the car is in a slide, you go full throttle and shift up when necessary, completing the turn. This is by far the hardest to learn. Getting the timing down of this when to a start applying throttle can be tricky. With drifting being pretty inconsistent, it will take time to learn. But if you master it, you will gain a lot of ground and be much faster than anybody who grips or tries to micro drift those particularly tight turns. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you guys learned something new. If anyone's having issues or you need some tips, 
course feel free to join the discord links will be down in the description uh send me some clips ask me any grid related question I'll do my best to help you guys out and with that said happy racing